Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. We're talking FCS second round playoff action. SIU playing in the late game against the fourth seeded Idaho Vandals at the Dome in Moscow, Idaho. And hey, it was scoreless in the second until this run by Roe Elliott. He doesn't go 20 30, he goes 38 yards for the touchdown and the score. We'll put up the board for you right now, and it's 10 to 3, SIU leading at halftime. Meanwhile, Missouri High School football class two state final. Lamar defeats Valley Catholic 35 to 28 in overtime. I'll tell you what, that's a tough loss for the Warriors who finished up an outstanding season again with a 12 and two record that close to uh, making it uh, all the way obviously for the championship, but they fall just short of winning the title. Meanwhile, college hoops, the Salukis. Hey, so far the football team leads 10 to three at halftime and the basketball team looking really good this afternoon. Out to Bad Terra Center, coming off that really bad loss to Indiana State, a whole different Salukis team. Clarence Rupert with the basket, and then Xavier Johnson from the outside. He'll drain this one, and then Johnson again, stops, pops, and gets that nice roll. He had 31 points, and but they were hitting threes. The biggest story of the game, the Salukis tied a school record for three-pointers. Joven Stulak will get one here. SIU finished with 18 threes by the time this game was done, and they would roll to a 101-62 victory over a pretty good Billikens team. That is a nice win for SIU. Women's hoops, Simo, a tough game on the road at Mizzou in the SEC. They would fall 88-43. to Deja Richmond, though, scored a, a team-high 10 points for Southeast. Now the Red Hawks men return to the Show Me Center tomorrow afternoon. SEMO will host Missouri Baptist so the fans get a chance at an afternoon Sunday game and tip off is set for three. The Notre Dame girls basketball team won the SEMO conference title last night. What a game it was 46 to 44 over Jackson. It was close all the way. In fact, the Indians had the ball for a last second shot right here, but Navy Lucius comes up with the block. That would prove to be the game winner for Notre Dame. Lucius, she talked. Definitely our defense, you know, we had our little talk in the locker room and our main focus was to just keep our defense up. The best defense wins the game. Definitely defense. We brought it up in the second half, I think, which was our main thing. So far, we've been relentless, you know, uh, playing from behind for an entire half, uh, not giving up. Um, you know, having that hard-nosed defense, uh, never quit attitude uh, has made us pretty tough these first couple weeks. So Notre Dame would haul off that trophy for winning the SEMO conference title. What a win over Jackson. Again, one of those wire-to-wire -wire close games, and they walk away with the hardware. Meanwhile, I'll look back at a couple of other tournament champions from last night. The Woodland Boys won their WIT tournament, 73 to 60 over Greenville. Congratulations to the Cardinals. They have had a ton of success and they get the big win. And finally, we mentioned it last night, East Prairie. They weren't the favorite, but they come away with the tournament championship. They won the title game, 47 to 44 over Kennett. That was in the Gideon Bulldog Classic. East Prairie this season, by the way, off to an impressive 3-0 start.